Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain Television with Esther Galoom. A telephone call took place between His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia. During the call, the two leaders reviewed the outstanding bilateral relations linking the two countries and means of bolstering them. Also discussed were the latest regional and international developments. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a letter from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, expressing appreciation for the precious royal trust and honour of appointing him as Prime Minister and tasking him with formation of the Cabinet. His Royal Highness said he had conducted consultations and considered the names of many Bahrainis capable of assuming Cabinet portfolios, in line with His Majesty's vision laid out in the letter of appointment, in order to accomplish His Majesty's aspirations for the Kingdom's continued revival and to achieve prosperity, security and safety for the country and its offspring, under the Constitution and the rule of law. In the letter, His Royal Highness said that in compliance with Bahrain's constitution regarding formation of the Cabinet and His Majesty's directives, His Royal Highness had presented to His Majesty the King the proposed Cabinet lineup. He promised His Majesty that the government would continue to work resolutely and persistently in order to complete previous accomplishments in a manner satisfactory to His Majesty's ambitions for revival of the country in all fields. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace today the Saudi Minister of the Interior, Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, who's on a visit to the Kingdom. This was in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Saman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Prince Mohammed bin Naif conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and of the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Minister of Defence, Prince Saman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, wishing him health and happiness and for Bahrain, further progress and prosperity under His Majesty's leadership. His Majesty the King welcomed Prince Mohammed bin Naif and asked him to convey his own greetings to the custodian of the two holy mosques and to the Saudi Crown Prince, wishing Saudi Arabia further progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King voiced pride in the deep historic brother relations linking Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and in the joint cooperation which ultimately serves the interests of the two kingdoms and their people. His Majesty the King lauded the stances of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques and its support for Bahrain, which reflects the strong relations between the two countries. His Majesty the King also valued the pioneering role of Saudi Arabia in supporting joint GCC works and unity and also in facing different challenges. During the audience, the two sides discussed the latest regional and Arab developments and issues of common concern. Earlier, the personal representative of His Majesty the King, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received and later bade farewell to the Saudi Minister of the Interior, Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Chief Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today at Rafah Palace the US Assistant Secretary of State for Near Eastern Affairs Anne Patterson and the Assistant Secretary of State for Democracy, Human Rights and Labour Tom Malinowski. 
present were His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, the son of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince affirmed Bahrain's commitment towards sustainable development at all levels, led by His Majesty the King, based on His Majesty's comprehensive vision that preserves a unified Bahraini identity. His Royal Highness said the people's voices had been heard through wide participation in the parliamentary elections, confirming the people's desire for further development to achieve a brighter future for the kingdom. He noted that the situation in the region confirms the necessity for sustainable development and reform to ensure a cohesive society which is strongly connected to security and stability and to prevent the spread of extremism and sedition. The Crown Prince stressed Bahrain's commitment to protecting its internal security and stability and to ensuring its development, as reflected by its contributions towards combating all forms of terrorism and stopping its sources. For their part, the guests expressed their country's keenness for further cooperation between the two countries. Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, left the kingdom today on a visit to the United Arab Emirates to meet with the Chairwoman of the General Women's Union and Supreme Chairwoman of the Family Development Foundation, Sheikha Fatma bint Mubarak. Her Royal Highness praised the notable efforts made by Sheikha Fatma bint Mubarak in supporting UAE women, which enabled them to reach high positions at both Arab and international levels. Her Royal Highness also noted the pioneering initiatives made by Sheikha Fatma bint Mubarak from the start of the UAE's massive development process to the current period. Her Royal Highness also hailed the remarkable efforts made by Sheikha Fatma bint Mubarak in supporting Arab women's issues through her constant support of programmes and projects aim at developing women's capabilities for the sake of greater female participation at national level. Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa congratulated the UAE's leadership and its people on the UAE's 43rd National Day, wishing them further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamid Al Khalifa, Today inaugurated the Abdullah Yusuf Fakru Social Centre in Easttown in the presence of Dr. Hassan Fakru and Dr. Fatma Al Balushi. His Highness then toured the centre and was briefed on the training facilities and those who will benefit from it. He praised the programmes and activities provided by the centre. He also stressed the important role of the Kingdom's social welfare projects in achieving the goals of sustainable human development and continuing the march of comprehensive development following the wise directives of His Majesty the King, who has taken a keen interest in supporting civil societies in order to serve citizens. His Highness praised the excellent levels of service given to parents and the elderly, which shows the noble values that characterise the people of the Kingdom. His Highness said the Ministry of Development had plans to set up more sophisticated centres to provide social and recreational care for the elderly so as to help them integrate in the community and to spread the centres around the governorates of Bahrain. For her part, Dr Fatma al expressed her appreciation to His Highness and affirmed that the Ministry is running 10 social centres around the Kingdom as part of the Ministry of Social Development's plans.
His Majesty the King's representative for charity and youth affairs, chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and president of Bahrain's Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received today the Challenge Family CEO Felix Waldschofer and members of Bahrain Triathlon's organising committee. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa of the International Championship. His Highness stressed the importance of organising the championship to a high standard, which will testify to the Kingdom's ability to organise major sporting events. His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed the outstanding preparations for the event through the dedication and commitment of Bahraini personnel to implement His Majesty the King's vision of placing the Kingdom among the leading countries who successfully host such major international championships. His Majesty the King's representative for Charity and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain's Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, said he was keen to receive the young people who nominated themselves as candidates for the parliamentary and municipal elections, and also to meet the young people who took part in the organisation. This came as part of His Highness's recognition of the role of the young and their support for the democratic process in Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Nasser added that through its parliamentary and municipal elections, Bahrain has launched a new chapter in the democratic path initiated by His Majesty the King with the care and concern of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. He said the democratic process was steadily moving forward toward further development and modernisation. Sheikh Nasser highlighted that the participation of the people of Bahrain in the parliamentary and municipal elections reflected their keen desire to exercise democratic rights. He added that the elections were an opportunity for the people to participate as partners in the political and democratic process and an important factor in the building and modernisation of the kingdom. In a speech addressed to the young, Sheikh Nasser said that through their participation in the democratic process, young people had supported the kingdom and left a mark on the democratic process in the history of Bahrain under the reform project of His Majesty the King. Sheikh Nasser voiced appreciation for the effort and participation of Bahrain's youth in building a promising future for the kingdom. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, today met the US Assistant Secretary of State for Near Eastern Affairs, Anne Patterson, and the Assistant Secretary of State for Democracy, Human Rights and Labour, Tom Malinowski, who are currently visiting Bahrain. The two sides reviewed bilateral relations between Bahrain and the United States, stressing steadily growing joint cooperation in all fields. 
The minister affirmed Bahrain's keenness to consolidate bilateral ties and bolster joint cooperation. The U.S. officials commended the outstanding relations bonding the two countries, hailing Bahrain's counter-terrorism efforts and its pivotal role in the international coalition against terror groups. They also credited Bahrain for hosting the Manama Conference on Combating Terror Refund Financing in November. Regional and international issues of mutual concern were also discussed. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, Deputy Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa and Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa to attend the reception party hosted by the Thai Ambassador to the Kingdom, marking Thailand's National Day and the 87th birthday of the King of Thailand. The ceremony was held at the Crown Plaza and was attended by senior Kingdom officials and the diplomatic corps. Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa and Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa conveyed the greetings of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the King and the people of Thailand, wishing the Kingdom of Thailand further progress and prosperity. They lauded the friendship and cooperation linking Bahrain and Thailand. They affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's keen desire to further expand horizons of bilateral cooperation with Thailand in economic and investment fields. For his part, the Thai ambassador lauded the efforts exerted by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in enhancing relations between the two countries, praising development, Bahrain is witnessing in various fields and wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity.